713 and time for the Pacific Rim Report with Rob York from the Honolulu-based Pacific Forum. And this time we're talking about China. There was a Pew survey this week that uh, says a majority of Americans now view China not merely as a competitor, but as an enemy. And I guess I wanted to ask you to what extent that's justified by the known facts. Well, China has, of course, been uh, seen as a rival increasingly in America on both uh, security and in terms of economic terms. So there's a increasing sentiment among Americans of uh, both political persuasions uh, that uh, China is uh, is not only a um, rival, a competitor, but uh, increasingly an adversary. And this extends to the highest levels of the Chinese government. One of the interesting things in recent days is that the UN has uh, announced that it now feels safe in saying that India has overtaken China in population, which means that uh, this gets more complicated because India is now a competitor for China as a place where it would make sense for U.S. Uh, multinational corporations to have factories that, that are currently mostly in China. Yes. So there is a long-standing practice of uh, companies going to China to try to do business, and uh, it is something that has been very uh, difficult uh, a habit for them to break. Um, China helps in, with that in, in some senses in that they have not really carried out the kind of market reforms that they promised and that they have been talking about for some time. And also, there's also the risk of arbitrary detentions, things like that happen. And, you know, so there, there is an increasing look at uh, competitors in Asia uh, as an alternative to China. Whether or not that will be India is uh, something that is still um, being determined. Now, China is a, a big place and a complicated place politically, so I guess it, it's worth m pointing out that uh, th there is dispute within China about what its policy should be to encourage factories by Western companies. And uh, with India as a, as a competitor, I guess that gives a little bit of uh, background to those, uh, some, some support to those in China who would like to make it a more uh, congenial place for non-Chinese factories. Yes. Uh, in previous administrations in China, such as like the Hu Jintao administration, Jiang Zemin, there was much more of an emphasis on being business friendly, being market oriented, drawing in new business, things like that. They, they always had a very much a China first approach, of course, but uh, Xi Jinping has, has taken them in a new direction. He cares much more about ideological conformity across society more than he does about being business friendly. And he has uh, seemingly stacked the Politburo around him with people who think the way he does. Okay. Uh, this is a, a complicated situation, but we want to stay in touch with it uh, for you because uh, a lot of companies that you buy stuff from are going to be making it in one of these two countries, and which ones depend on how these things uh, unfold. It's uh, 716, and we'll have more sunrise for you in a moment.